El Dorado, the lost city of gold. For centuries, explorers have sought to find this mystical place. As we discover other lost cities, such as Troy and Angkor Wat, the quest to find El Dorado continues. Does it even exist? If so, how can we find it? If not, how do we prove conclusively that it does not exist? Now, this may seem like a strange way to start a talk about numbers, but I'm here to tell you that the connection is very deep. Like El Dorado, number theorists have sought to uncover the mysteries of numbers for centuries. And we ask ourselves, are there any unexpected patterns? For example, for the equation x to the power of n plus y to the n equals z to the n, known as Fermat's equation. Does that have a solution? This question, which was claimed by Pierre de Fermat over three centuries ago, has mystified humanity, not just mathematicians, since that time. In 1997, when Andrew Wiles announced the proof of Fermat's last theorem, it became Great news, it was, it was announced as one of the greatest scientific achievements of the 20th century, which is unheard of for a mathematical result. It's been referenced in popular science. In Star Trek, in Deep Space Nine, they even had an episode where they apologized for a remark made earlier claiming that Pirima, or Fermat's last theorem was unsolved. Now, why would the non-number theorist or the non-intellectual even care about problems of this type? Well, uh, along the way, to discover the proof of Fermat's last theorem, we got some extra bonuses. The elliptic curve encryption scheme, which was discovered right here at the University of Waterloo, is based on the research that was done to prove Fermat's last theorem. Encryption schemes are critical to everyday life. If you ever have bought anything on the internet, then you were sure that your credit card information was not going to be stolen. The reason why your credit card information was safe was because it was encrypted. The discovery and implementation of encryption schemes is a fundamental problem to human commerce and our quality of life. My research focuses on a generalization of Fermat's last theorem. I look at a equation similar to the Fermat equation and I ask myself the same question, are there any solutions? If there are solutions, are there a lot of them or there are not many of them? And uh, in my special case, I was able to prove an analog of Fermat's last theorem in that for a specific set of values that uh, my type of equation does not have very many solutions. And I hope that uh, this research will lead to discovery of more and in interesting properties of numbers which can be applied to computer science, which can be applied to more encryption schemes and you know, will make our understanding of the universe and our understanding of um, computer science in general be more robust. Thank you for your time.